Yabba dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar once again coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog we're going on a safari. That's right, you had it right, we're on a safari tour today. We're in Koron and we're going to go check out some African wildlife. So, um, we're just getting ready, it's 5 o'clock, 5am in the morning, we're just waiting for our phone call to let us know the van has arrived and as soon as that happens we're on our way so without any further ado let's scooby do <laughs> but the lady said it was rebuilt in 1980 there was a little bit of like a chapel here originally but they renovated it or rebuilt it in 1980 so very interesting all right so this was our first stop um, okay having a bit of a prayer to the big one upstairs Pray for a Tats Lotto win. <laughs> Magnificent views from up here. Million dollar views. Now it's time to move on to the safari tour. So let's go and check some African animals out. All right, after a one hour trip from the church, we have arrived at our second destination. Uh, breakfast stop, I believe. It's uh, quarter to eight. Let's go and see what they got for breakfast. It's that Buluang Fish Pond restaurant. All right, so we've just stopped off here for a breakfast stop. Um, Bulawang fish pond. <coughs> Cup of coffee to get the day started. Well, it started two hours ago, but I don't normally have breakfast. <coughs> I've got this uh, fish pond here where they've got these little cottages where you can obviously have breakfast or lunch. Okay, so we've done with our breakfast stop, coffee stop, now we're moving on. I think we're heading off now to the Kaluit Safari. Um, I don't know if it's a zoo or a sanctuary, not sure, we'll see when we get there. So, welcome back to the van and we'll be rolling soon, so we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we have arrived now at the Kaluit Safari Park. So we've got a little store in here. If you want to buy souvenirs, drinks. Okay, let's roll. 
Okay, so now we're heading off onto one of these boats and they're going to take us over somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we're heading somewhere on a boat. To this um, little administration building and sign sign in. Welcome to Kalawit Game Preserve and Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, let's go and sign in. Okay, so we've already signed signed in back over there, but now. We need to do that once again once we're on this actual island. So we're just going to wait for everyone to sign up and then we're off on our expedition. Okay, it's good to see they're using solar power here. So they've obviously got solar panels on the roof and you can see the solar batteries there where they store the energy. So eco friendly. Okay, they've loaded us into this uh, <laughs> safari jeep about to take off into the wildlife. Okay, and we're off. Okay, I see some giraffes over there. So here we are at the feeding um, feeding area. You get to feed the giraffes. Hold it down lower. Move in, turn your back to him. Put it in one hand and pat him with the other hand. Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, so that was the giraffe feeding on our safari tour. <laughs> they don't let you do that in Australia. <sighs> okay, so it's a sunny day today. A bit of sweat coming off the old forehead. So I think we're just going to wait for our safari jeep to come pick us up and take us to our next next stop here at the safari okay so that concludes our giraffe feeding experience um, and it was an experience to be that close to an African wild animal if you can call it that um, this could be a bit controversial it's almost the same as the whale shark feeding that we've done in Oslob um, they are wild animals, but they've been sort of trained to come out at feeding time on a daily basis. The tourists roll in, they roll out, and these giraffes eat from the hands of humans. I was just saying to the wife in Africa, you see these trees in the background. Over there and that, like the bottoms of them are normally all trimmed because that's where the giraffes feed. They reach up as high as they can get and they eat off as much as they can reach. And once they've done that, they move on to the next tree. So, this they don't have to go stretching out for trees, they just feed here from the humans. But at the end of the day, it is an experience. Um, most, most people will never even see a giraffe. Um, we've done this at the uh, Werribee Zoo in Melbourne, but you can't, you don't feed them, you just sit in the bus, you drive around and if you're lucky they'll walk, they'll walk up to the bus and maybe even poke their head in the window. Um, but here in the Philippines, you get to feed them up close, you get to touch them, you get to hug them. Um, and like I said, it's an experience you'll never forget. See like these trees that they've been trimmed. That's where they normally they reach up and they trim them. This one here. That's as high as they can reach. Jeep. Now we're heading back to the boat. Not sure where we're going, but I'll let you know as soon as we get there. So stay tuned. Okay, we're off the boat. Okay, so that was the safari tour. I wonder what's next. I think we're going to a beach. Do some swimming. Alright, we'll just wait here. For the rest of our group, there's our van. Okay, into the van. Here we go. Interesting little vehicle we have here, a little three wheeled Rossi chariot. Okay, back in an 
exhaust air conditioned van. It's ready for the others to jump in and then we're off to the next destination. So stay tuned. Back here at Buluang Fish Pond restaurant. Um, I think we're going through to the other side to catch the boat to some island to do some swimming and snorkeling. I don't know. It's 12 o'clock, so we might be stopping off here for some lunch. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens when we get down the end of this track. Okay, so we have finished lunch, or should I say the others have finished lunch, I didn't eat nothing. Um, they just had seafood on this uh, safari tour. So if you don't like seafood, just be wary of that. You might want to bring your own sort of lunch. I just had a couple of pieces of orange, that's about it, and a bottle of, bottle of water. But I'll be fine. Not going to die from not eating. We've stopped off at this place. I thought we were going to have some uh, barbecue lunch, buffet lunch, but I think that's part of another tour. So all I had here was just seafood. Um, was it uh, octopus squid adobo and some uh, pork sisig and uh, some soup, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, another sea, sort of like a seafood vegetable. Uh, dish which I'm not a fan of so everyone's had their lunch except for me and the wife the wife didn't want to eat uh, just for spite she had a bit of an argument with the operator here but I don't think it was her fault um, so we're just getting ready now we're gonna go off on a boat now to an island to do some snorkeling and some swimming so we'll see which way that leads I think we're going that way because the oceans that way so we're just waiting for everyone to get their gear on and we're gonna head off soon so let's see where that road takes us stay tuned so let's go. Oh. 